The following is the significant planetary geometry through early February 2015. When December 25th arrives, the inner planets will look like this. Mercury and Venus conjoined from Jupiter's point of view, just astride the Sun. Over the next few days, the Sun becomes more involved in this four-sphere alignment through the 29th. And as that alignment breaks, we find the Earth with Jupiter and Mars in opposition. Meanwhile, Venus and Mercury will slowly conjoin from Earth's perspective as 2015 gets underway. Now also, at that time, note the heliocentric conjunction of Mercury and Neptune. And then, Venus and Neptune. As Venus comes in, Mercury will have moved on to conjoin Uranus. All the while, Mercury and Venus stay close to the geocentric conjunction that started days beforehand. It sticks until we get to mid-January, when Mercury will be heliocentrically opposed to Saturn. As Earth comes between Venus and Jupiter at that same time, the inner planet line begins to break. Then, Mercury comes in to conjoin the Sun geocentrically at the end of January. Quite coincidentally, Venus and Mars will be heliocentrically conjoined at that exact same time. As February begins, we see Venus finally coming in to conjoin Uranus heliocentrically. This occurs right at the heliocentric conjunction of Mercury and Jupiter as well, followed just days later by the geocentric opposition of Jupiter and the Sun. We'll watch some other viewpoints of some of these alignments from Earth's viewpoint on Stellarium, Atmosphere Turned Off, and the progress of some of the significant geocentric positions from Solar System Scope. Seismicity and solar activity have shown strong correlations with these events. We have got a lot to look forward to over the next two months.